Whoa, how did this get through the editor? This on Market Watch. Electric vehicles certainly are dirty. Their battery packs are poised to be one of the biggest new sources of pollution. Jerika Dudjmovic. Whoa, the industry crucially needs regulation over recycling. Um, I haven't read this. My man Bob sent this to me, so let's read it, shall we? Um, the Internal Energy Agency, International IEA, uh, International Energy Agency, said this year is expecting 145 million EVs worldwide by 2030. If government ramps up F efforts to meet energy and climate goals, the, the, the number could soar even higher. There are a lot of new cars to hit the global markets, a lot of batteries as well. Although EVs do not release carbon dioxide during their use, their production and that of the batteries exerts the same toll on the environment as that of conventional internal combustion engine cars. While the recycling of the lithium ion batteries poses unique challenges. Lithium ion, ba ion batteries are bulkier and take more space than their traditional counterpart. Lead acid, lead acid batteries we've had for a hundred years. <laughs> to make matters worse, they're highly flammable and ex even explosive if dismantled incorrectly. What? They're not explosive. We got tons of evidence of uh, electric vehicles, their batteries exploding and burning. They can't just put out with old-fashioned water. It's, uh, we know this, man. There's a danger here. You think it's just the Chevy Bolt or the Chevy Volts, whatever it's called, the Chevys. No. In the next 10 to 15 years, there'll be millions of end-of-life electric cars worldwide. Huh. I wonder where else there'll be millions of worldwide. Solar panels. Hmm. Wind turbines. Where do these things go? They just get recycled. The recycling gods just say, yeah, we're going to recycle these. Uh, yeah, crazy, man. And it just, we just, it comes out of the air. It's safe because it's, it's renewable. If no action is taken, battery waste can become a big problem for not only the car industry, but for the environment as well. How big? If the average car battery pack weighs 550 pounds, my friends, the battery pack weighs 550 pounds. 100 million cars would produce about 55 billion pounds or 28 million tons of battery waste that needs to be recycled. And we can expect a big portion of that waste to accumulate by 2040 if the IE's projections on electric vehicles are correct. And the only way they'll be correct, by the way, with government mass enforcement, i.e. you can no longer buy an ICE, which is coming, man, California. But hey, I love when California is going kaput. The more, I was talking to a guy today, the sooner California, Oregon, and Washington go kaput, which is going to happen, the more the red people flee into states that are uh, not maybe purplish. Arizona, Nevada, Georgia. We want you here. We want you Oregonians, uh, Washington State, or Washingtonians, Californians. Bring it. Come on down. Because the more the reds flee, the less is left there, the more the reds are going to flee. And then you have a tipping point where it's just left by uh, lips. And we have, and then we're flooding the rest of the country with red voters. I think it's fantastic. So let's keep keep doing it. Uh, let's see. Although uh, lithium ion batteries are classified by the government as non hazardous waste and are safer to dispose of the normal municipal waste uh, stream, several studi studies have shown that they can contaminate the water. Nowadays, a lot of recycling is informal. Yeah, it's like recycling is such a boondoggle. Everyone knows this, man. It's such a class show. Uh, with these kinds of operations, there's a high probability of lithium seeping into the water supply. A similar situation occurs in highly developed areas where people improperly dispose of the consumer electronics, which are powered by lithium ion batteries. Finally, it's not just lithium that can contaminate soil and groundwater, nickel, cobalt, Magne manganese and other metals found in EV batteries pose an even greater threat than lithium to both human life and the ecosystem. The majority of the material in the EV battery can be recycled and reused, which itself is an economic argument for extraction. Extracted materials, especially metals, from the old battery housing in order to be reused in a new batch is a procedure that can re significantly reduce manufacturing costs. This is due to the fact that almost 50% of a battery's cost comes from those metals alone. Uh, smelting is one way to extract the metals from the batteries. And where does this smell? <laughs> what? Dude, this is such a freaking scam. How do you smell something with batteries? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Let's just take a look at the process of smelting. ScienceDirect.com. Uh, smelting involves a simultaneous reduction uh, to lead metal and the rejection of sulfur as gaseous sulfur, as gaseous sulfur dioxide. Introduction. Smelting is an energy intensive process used to refine an ore into a usable metal. Most ore deposits contain metals in the reactive and combined form. All right. The smelting process melts the iron, the ore, usually for a chemical change to separate the metal, thereby reducing refining it. It requires a lot of energy to extract that metal from the other elements. <laughs> Some of these use the application of heat with batteries from solar and wind. Ah, we're just we're not dealing with the, bright, the, the brightest minds in our world. So we're going to smelt uh, to extract so we can recycle the batteries to ensure everybody that we're environmentally conscious. Finally, to make a, uh, uh, the, finally to make enough batteries, we would need a triple. Uh, how, remember, man, how, does, how do you get heat? You get heat from fossil fuels or nuclear. That's it. You're not getting heat from freaking renewables. It's not happening, man. That, just, come on. Just let's, can we pull our head out of our butt and recognize the fallacy for what it is? It's just, this is insanity. Uh, finally, to make enough batteries, you would need to triple the current production rates of lithium, graphite, nickel, and manganese. An aggressive recycling regimen is also necessary to meet the increased demand for these materials and limit the environmental damage caused by mining. But instead, we're going to have the environmental damage caused by smelting to recycle the batteries. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, whatever. Um, let's see. What uh, former Tesla engineers' plans... Uh, J.B. Strobel, former chief technology officer of Tesla, says he likes to say the largest lithium mine is the junk drawers of America. His recycling company, Redwood Materials, recycles scrapped and defective battery cells from Envision, which manufactures batteries for the Nissan Leaf. In the end, it will all come down to execution. Recycling is a dirty business in more ways than one. All right. Uh, it's, it's such a fallacy, man. Um, Let's see what we got here. Who's this guy? He's a business publisher, consultant, designer, and gamer. And he's a columnist. Is he a chemist? I don't know. I don't know. So everything on such matters is always the same. No regulation or very thin laws in place or none. Even worse is never mentioned the real cause. Too many of us rush around to buy and deal on these new lithium devices, cars, and, and states. Our sized up population is the biggest culprit in anything environmental. Huh. Our sized up population is the biggest culprit. Hmm. Interesting. Always, let's reply to this guy. Always too many people, huh? People, huh? Never heard that before. Paul, Paul, Maggie, Mr. Sanger agrees. Too many people. Yeah, and yet he's still around. Uh, it be a huge problem until someone takes all the used batteries that are only at 70% to 80% not good enough for cars and puts them in, in a building to store wind and solar electric. Uh, e this guy, Den Denise, uh, says EVs are not the solution to environmental degradation. Ending rampant and irresponsible consumerism is. The CO2 is just shifted from car to production and increased electricity use from the power plants. People want a panacea. Yeah. I say I'm gonna say good luck, good luck with all that smelting via solar panels and wind turbines. Such a scam. All right, there we go. All right, so my friends, look, man, I like my man Bob Sinna. He just wrote, I liked it. Uh, hybrid. I'm all about hybrids, man. One hundred percent. Two forms of. Uh, of powering your vehicle, electricity, and good old fashioned gasoline. I'm a big fan, big fan, first time, long time. I've actually never had a hybrid, but I think maybe my next car will be a hybrid, but I'll be damned if I'm forced to buy an electric vehicle. Just like I'll be damned if I'm forced to do something uh, against my body, my choice. All right, we'll see you. Love to your thoughts.